Hey guys, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about stretch marks. Um, this is the most requested request which I've got over the last few months. Uh, the reason why I've been delaying it for this long is uh, for the fact, this is a simple fact. Uh, the, unlike acne scarring, where we can predictably remove or at least reduce acne scarring, stretch marks are unpredictable. So we can help patients with stretch marks, but Unlike acne scarring or um, pigmentation, for example, stretch marks are very unpredictable in how they respond. So basically it's this, if you go into a um, specialist center or you go into an aesthetic center and they go, hey, you know what, we can remove your stretch marks, walk out of there, uh, because they've got to give you realistic expectations of stretch marks. Now let's go through things, what works and what doesn't work. First of all, there's lots of things marketed that say, hey, you know, it can treat stretch marks. Bio oil is one of them, and vitamin E, for example, and they say, look, really good for stretch marks. No papers, no scientific evidence. Do I use these? Do I advise patients to use this? No, absolutely not, because there are no papers. If bio oil decides to provide a paper, a controlled um, double-blinded um, split paper, sure, uh, I would advocate the use of bio oil but unfortunately they don't. To date, the only um, uh, ingredient or the only product that has shown to actually reduce stretch marks is this. It's called Stratamark. It's made in, um, in Switzerland, okay? So this has robust studies. They've done multi-center studies uh, throughout Australia and throughout Europe, and this has shown to reduce stretch marks. So one of the studies have shown that um, in striae gravitarum, in other words, stretch marks in pregnancy, um, this product has shown to be re to reduce stretch marks from 70% all the way down to 18%. So that's one study. Do I advocate this for stretch marks? Absolutely. Now, the way to treat stretch marks is just not one modality. The earlier you, you treat stretch marks, the better it is. So let's discuss about stretch marks management. First of all, do I combine treatments? Absolutely. Retinol com combined with Stratamark, um, absolutely great for early stretch marks. Obviously, if you're pregnant, you cannot use any vitamin A, which is retinol. So retinol's out, and you've only got one um, modality. But the best way to treat stretch marks like anything else is a multi-method approach. That's using energy devices, lasers, um, and at the same time, Stratamark. So how do I classify and how do I treat stretch marks? First of all, classification. Um, you can classify them into very early stretch marks, early stretch marks, and late stretch marks. Very early stretch marks are usually pink. They haven't actually changed color to that purple type um, color, and they usually have symptoms. So you might get a little bit of itch first in areas where it's most common. So for example, for weightlifters, it may be under the arms. For pregnant women, it will be obviously in the tummy. And for perverse augmentation, it's usually in areas where um, the scars are and just under the, the nipple line. That's what, because that's the encapsulation of where the um, breast augmentation is performed. So once you get that early signs of stretch marks, that's when you start using the strata mark uh, and other methods. So what other methods do I use? For very early or early stretch marks, early stretch marks are also called um, striae rubra, rubra, R-U-B-R-A, which means red. The reason why they're red is because the underlying collagen and elastin are basically broken because they've been stretched. And what you see are the blood vessels. So we use what's known as a vascular laser, a V-beam vascular laser. So what I do is I use V-beam vascular laser in a papyric setting, in other words, a bruising setting. Uh, and then um, straight after that, uh, Stratomark. For late stretch marks, there are multiple ways to treat these, and we'll go through these very shortly. Okay, for late stretch marks, we can use several devices. First of all, we can use an erbium device, um, an erbium fractional laser. Certainly, that can help. Hybrid lasers are better, so something like a U laser. The reason being is we're using two different wavelengths. We're using a non-ablative wavelength in the 1440 wavelength together with a CO2 fractional laser. Certainly, we can use a CO2 laser, because of the fact that it stimulates more collagen, we don't need to go deep. So we don't need super high powered lasers like the U laser or even the Luminous, even a um, mild laser like a core laser. Or if you're really stuck and you've got really old technology, certainly a fractal repair can help. 
in the correct setting or in the correct skin type. Okay, so newer ways to treat um, stretch marks include the use of energy-based energy microneedling. And my favorite one is the Infini. So certainly uh, Infini can help, especially with combined with uh, PRP because it actually speeds up the healing time. The reason why I like using microneedling over lasers is this. Uh, stretch marks actually, you don't have to treat it deep. They're actually very shallow. And they do, you, do, you do not want epidermal damage because um, your epidermis is fine, the top half of your skin is fine. Stretch marks are due to a lack of collagen and elastin uh, and structures deep in the skin. So you want to preserve your epidermis and you want to go deep. So that's why I prefer microneedling compared to um, CO2 nowadays. Dr. Steve Weiner and I are both uh, in collaboration together with uh, Infini. We like this device because it provides insulation, uh, so it protects the epidermis or the outside of the skin whilst treating stretch marks. So you can see it's a very quick treatment, a relatively painless treatment because we are going very superficial and we're performing energy-based RF or radio frequency insulated microneedling to stimulate collagen production. So in my opinion, this has surpassed the old fashioned CO2 because of the fact that we are sparing the skin and the healing up times are much quicker. What we do then is we use Strata Med because we've caused puncture wounds over four days. And then after that, when the skin heals, I swap back to Strata Mark and the patient continues to use that. What other methods can we use? Let's go to another room and we'll see what other methods we can use. Okay, we're in another room and this is another treatment. It's a non-ablative treatment. It's the old Fraxel Dual. We don't use the 1927 because remember, we're not treating epidermis, we're treating deeper dermal structures. So we use the Fraxel 1550. Most patients require about three to four treatments. Um, but once again, it's always in combination with Stratomar because um, one plus one equals three, it's called Synergy. So basically, it's not just one treatment itself, it's a com combination of uh, two or even three different treatments. Okay, what other methods do I use? Um, another method I use is this. It's, um, it's not a gun, it's called subablative or radio frequency. I prefer the E matrix system over others. The reason why is because we've got a super high powered one, so we can use up to 100 and um, 110, I think. So, but it is 100 millijoules per pin but ours is clocked, so it's a little bit more powerful than normal. But once again, power is not everything. We do not need to actually go that deep with stretch marks. So, subablative using bipolar radio frequency uh, certainly can help. Another method I've used in the past, uh, which shown to work, is this. So I'll go to another room. So guys, we're in a little bit quieter room here. Uh, it's nice and quiet compared to the laser rooms. Look behind me, we've got chemical peels and chemical peels can certainly help um, with stretch marks. And often I combine um, for old stretch marks um, or stria alba, in other words, white stretch marks. So remember, old stretch marks are characterized by white, papery, silvery um, stretch marks. And these stretch marks respond best to a combination. So what I do is that I use a combination of either radio frequency, uh, what we talked about before using the E matrix system, or the microneedling system. Um, if I do not penetrate skin using the RF system, I combine that with a TCA, often um, either a 10% or even all the way up to a 20% um, uh, TCA peel. Straight after that, um, I use Stratomark um, and the patient continues to use Stratomark uh, for the duration of their treatment, in other words, once at night. So other chemical peels can certainly help. Yes, I know the papers, uh, I've done them in the past uh, using uh, dermabrasion, so in other words, um, a microdermabrasion using sandpaper together with a higher strength TCA, anyway up to 40-50%. You know, I tend not to do that nowadays, just due to the fact that there's a higher side effect rate, uh, high incidence of post-inflammatory skin color changes, and high incidence of scarring, so that's totally out. Another way to treat stretch marks, which I think is effective um, and cost-effective, in other words, cheap, is to use actually 
a derma roller. So you can buy these skin rollers from eBay for about $5. Um, I advocate anything from 0 0.25 um, depth of the needles all the way to 0 0.5 mils. Roll it in a particular manner uh, where you don't tear the skin. You can cause more damage that way. Um, Wait for your skin to heal. It normally takes only about two to three days. Use an emollient two to three times a day, like an eight whisk cream, and then straight after that, use Stratamark. So, look, um, honestly, this video is not sponsored by Stratamark. I'm just showing you the papers that are out there. Once again, if you can click on the link below, it shows you the PDF uh, on the actual uh, product itself together um, with uh, the papers. So once again, robust papers in regards to um, Strata Mark um, and how it actually works with stretch marks. Guys, once again, it's having realistic expectations. The earlier we treat stretch marks, the better it is. Uh, if, we if we treat stretch marks early, at let's say, um, as soon as they appear, uh, we get a very good success rate. Uh, realistically 80% improvement but if we treat stretch marks late the improvement is very very slight so I normally say realistically if we can improve things by 40 to 50% with three to five treatments for all stretch marks when there um, this is important because uh, when you walk like I said when you when you go to see an aesthetician whether you see a specialist or anyone who can treat stretch marks when they say, hey, we can remove it, walk straight out of that office, or get them to sign a guarantee that they can remove it, because um, it is one of the harder treatments. That's why you don't see me producing these videos early on, because um, these treatments are hard, they're unpredictable, uh, but like I said, with newer treatments, especially with Stratamark, yes, um, we do get good results. Um, as a matter of disclosure, this is not sponsored at all by Stratamark. Um, it is produced by me, um, which means, um, yeah, there's no remuneration from that point of view. Guys, thanks very much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you like it. Um, one new video every Saturday, Saturday morning Brisbane time. Um, and I'll see you next week. Take care and thanks guys, bye.